Alright, so it's time for us to abuse our first glitch. Yeah, I looked it up and it turns out the missing no glitch just doesn't work in the Japanese versions like it does in the English versions. Apparently when they remade Red and Blue, the fancy new ones that they then translated, they introduced that missing no glitch. It's unfortunate, so instead we're going to be doing a completely different glitch, which theoretically would let us catch a missing no, but this first try we're just going to... Uh, uh, we might be going for a Mew, honestly. So we'll see what happens. I've never done this glitch before, I've just read about it. Alright, so first things first, we are going to go ahead and fly on up to, uh, just... Just Pallet Town, I guess. Why not? Alright. Hopefully this works, because like I said, I have never done this before. I've decided that our episodes are going to be short, and we're just going to, like, investigate one or two glitches, and then that'll be that, so... These are just going to be like short little informational episodes from here on out. And who knows how many there will be. This could be the only one. We'll find out. But anyway, okay. Let's try to figure out how to do this. So the first thing that we want to do is in the bag, we go to the 13th item. So one, right, we are in the bag and we're on there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Aw, oh, if it had been TM13, that would have been great. Alright, so, we press select. So we've now pressed select as shown by it flashing. Then we press B, B. Alright, and then we go into battle. Basically, there's a glitch with select that allows all sorts of insane things to happen in the Japanese versions. But what we're trying to do is essentially we're swapping a Pokemon with an item, I think, basically. I don't think it matters what item it is, though. But what we do then is... I don't know, honestly. We go into the party and we somehow we swap it with A. So I guess we just press A. There we go. What the heck did we just make? What's gone up here? What is this? Um... We made a shelter. How did we make a shelter? I wasn't trying to make a shelter, but we made a shelter. That is supposed to be done from electric type. Oh, so it uses the first type of the first Pokemon, I guess? This wasn't what I was trying to do, honestly. But, yeah. Dead. Look at all these glitched graphics. Now we'll run away if we can. Alright, so yeah, now... Now we have a bit of a, a thing going on here with this guy. Yeah, a bit of a glitch. So, with this... What in the heck are... Does he have TM26 as a move? Oh, that is awesome. Look at his experience to level up. Wow. Uh, yeah. So apparently there's certain ways that you can force this to turn back into a Magikarp, which is what it was before. Did it level up? I was at level 30 all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on with this thing. But also if you evolve it, it'll like stay as that Pokemon forever. I think you can also like transfer it to Pokemon Stadium too. So that's the basic idea. I wasn't intending to turn it into that though. So maybe we can try again, but with a water type. It's the second type of the Pokemon, I guess, in the first slot. I don't know. I thought it was the Pokemon I was pressing A on, but maybe I was wrong. Oh, well, this is an easy-to-do glitch. It's right below TM14, so that's an easy spot. So we do that, do that, and then you get into a battle. A very easy glitch. There's so many of these two, we might have to cover a lot of them over time. But for now, I'm just trying to figure out how it works on my own. So now I want to reconvert. There we go. Is that a Mew? Please be a Mew. That's what I'm trying to make here. Yes, we got a Mew. Oh, look at that glorious Mew. He's so glorious. Okay, let's run away. If we can, yes. So now we have a level 6 glitch Mew. Look at that. Now the fun thing is, is that if we used a TM to teach this Mew a move... I think there's something wrong with that shelter, by the way, because it shouldn't have changed levels and stuff. I don't know what the deal is. Now, our, there's still a lot of glitches here. But yeah, if we teach this thing a move and then force it to convert back using, I think the daycare will do that. 
we could have a Magikarp that knew any move we wanted. So we could go into our bag and find a TM. Um, TM, what do we want to teach? Well, let me quickly look up what these TMs are, because I don't know what they are. It's unfortunate that we have to do this in Japanese, but that is where this glitch exists. It's exclusive to the Japanese versions. 43 is Sky Attack. That's a fun move, isn't it? But what else? We got 27. 27 is Fissure. We could have a Magikarp with Fissure. 5, I think, is Mega Kick, maybe? Let me see. Yeah, 5 is Mega Kick. I kind of like the idea of teaching Mega Kick to a Magikarp. So we are going to go ahead and boot this up and teach it to Mew. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead. I don't actually know how you convert this back. Maybe just by putting it in there. I don't know, but we'll head on up to Cerulean City. Because that's how you get there. Let me see. All right. Yeah, change it. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we just deposit it. We could end up getting it stuck as the new Pokemon, though, so... I don't know, this is the problem with doing things that you've never done before, is you don't know what you're doing. Let me through, please. Thank you. All right. Luckily, the daycare is only a hop, skip, and a jump away. This will either do one of two things. It will either permanently turn it into a Mew, or it will um, change it back into a Magikarp. So that's fun. I do like that it was a shelter and then just turned into a Mew. That's fun. But yes, let's see if we can do this. All right, so, hello, daycare guy. I would like to give you a Mew. Please don't steal it, it's very valuable. <laughs> I'm like the ultimate scammer. It's like, yeah, here's a Mew. It's definitely not a Magikarp that I transformed using magic. Yeah, it made the Magikarp noise. All right, so now we have a Magikarp, a level six Magikarp that, <laughs> that knows Mega Kick. Oh, that's fun. That is a fun glitch there. We can send it into battle over in Pallet Town where it might actually be able to win a fight. Yep, let's get back over there. And there's a few other fun things with this very specific form of the select glitch that we'll try to take a look at if I can figure out how they work. And this isn't the only way. You can also use the daycare center itself to transform them. You just have to be in a screen where you can press A to swap a Pokemon out. So the battle is the easiest one, obviously. Uh, there's also a completely different method that uses the 14th item slot and the uh, daycare center, apparently. But we're not going to go into that because I'm not being that thorough, honestly. Alright, Mega Kick. Yeah, this is one vicious Magikarp, and yet still really weak. It's twice the level and knows Mega Kick, and it still needs a two-hit KO. Still. That is a really fun glitch. I wish it existed in the English versions. But anyway, all right, so next thing next thing up is we want to find you. Okay, and I want to swap you into the first slot real quick because we're going to do one more transformation here. Because there, there is a glitch. I don't know if it's worked, but let's see. Supposedly, there is a way that this unlocks. Hey, it didn't unlock the 151st slot. Interesting. Well, anyway. I'm just going to try and see what happens. We're going to do the select glitch one more time. So let's go find our spot. Okay, now let's go find a Pokemon. We're going to transfer our Magikarp. Magikarp? Yes, into another Pokemon. Because that's the way we roll. Now obviously since this relies on types, there is only a very limited number of Pokemon you can do this, which is uh, unfortunate. I was going to say with, but I said which. But I recovered from it gracefully. What am I doing? Hope I didn't just mess it up by doing that. Anyway, we're going to transform you. I just completely screwed up. Didn't I? Whoops. Let's try that again. What did I mess up? Was it pressing on something else, or did I not swap it? I don't know. Anyway. I, I just did the thing twice, and I've already forgotten how to do it. I'm so distracted by Let's Playing. Why do I do this to myself? Oh well, let's go ahead and get in another battle, please. Another battle, any second now would be nice. Yes. There we go. Ah, a little Rattata. Hello, friend. 
Nice to meet you. Anyway, we're not here for you, though. Alright, so, did I even do the glitch? There we go. Aha! Now I'll send you out. Because you are crashing my game. Yep, the game just crashed, I think. Oh, well. Yeah, I just got a missing no, is what I did. They're very dangerous in uh, green version because they can crash. Japanese missing no's are a lot less stable. So let me just reload real quick. Give me one second. There we go. Yeah, we uh, we lost our fancy Magikarp, unfortunately. We're back where we were. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to go fetch my Magikarp out of the thing, and we're going to try that again. But this time we won't send it out, because that wasn't the point of what I was doing. Technically, I don't even need to be transforming this Magikarp, so, uh, you know, I won't even bother. It's just going to waste time. I have to swap boxes, because it's in box one and all that. Anyway, we're just going to get on the water, I think, for this time around. Uh, what am I doing? Get on the water. There we go. Now, let's go into the bag. Let's get the item. There we go. Let's get in a battle. Any old Pokemon want to show up? I wonder if swapping maps causes it to stop working, maybe. Who knows? Probably not. All right, Tentacool. Prepare to invent... Oh crap, I have failed miserably. I'm just gonna make another Shelter. Dang it. I need to swap my Pokemon around. Okay, you swap. There we go. Okay, now let's do this again. 13th spot, here we come. Okay, now we get into a battle. Can't believe I screwed that up. Oh well. We have plenty of time to mess with this glitch, so it doesn't matter. There we go. All right. Tentacool, I hate you so much with your short tentacles. I don't know what it is. Just too many tentacles in the game. That's what it is. Who will we transform? We will transform the bug. Okay, but we're not going to send you out. Instead, we are just going to run away. All right. Theoretically, there's something you can do in this glitch that will unlock the 152nd Pokedex slot. Yeah, there it is. Missing Nose Pokedex slot, which just plays right on sound, and yeah, it's empty. But that is a neat little thing, isn't it? Apparently, if you access this in the English games, you'll get, like, Scyther or something, depending on the game, I guess. But yeah, I don't know why we didn't get Mew, though. You want to get another Mew and see what the deal is? Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is, that is the best thing I've seen in this glitch so far. What was it from you? It was water type, wasn't it? So we can just do this. Yeah, because we don't want to keep the missing no. If we try to look at him, he might crash our game again, and he's poisoned, apparently, so that's fun. What am I doing? I gotta activate the glitch. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, it's fixed. Okay. I was gonna say, that was problematic. Yeah, these are the glitches that they always warn you about missing no having in the English versions, but they're actually happening. Hey, he's backwards, and I'm glitched. Okay, yes, we need to get rid of this missing no fast. Getting rid of it might not even fix it. There we go. We got a level 43 Mew this time, apparently. Right? Yeah, look at that. I guess maybe catching them in this way doesn't actually unlock them in your Pokedex. Hmm. Oh, well, let's run away. Yeah, now... Maybe it's because he's not actually stabilized yet. We might have to stabilize him for him to count as actually owning him. But there's our little Mew again. Hello, friend. I don't know what moveset you have all of a sudden, but you definitely have it. Let's just check our Pokedex one last time, and then I think that'll be it. I'll just tell you the list of Pokemon you can get through this. Uh, No, we've actually lost it interesting. Well, anyway, okay, so for the normal type, you get the uh, Missing No. Fighting type gives you Rhydon. Flying type gives you Kangaskhan. Poison type gives you Nidoran Male. Rock type gives you Clefairy. Ground is Spiro. Bird is Voltorb. Um, Bug is Nidoking. Ghost is Slowbro. Fire is Arcanine. Water is Mew. Grass is Gyarados. Electric is Shelter. Psychic is Tentacool. 
Ice is Ghastly, Dragon is Scyther, and then Missing No makes Growlithe, because it has its own type. And I like how Bird is a separate type, and then Missing No has its own type too? I thought Missing No was Bird type, but I guess in Jap Japanese games it's not. Who knows? Who really knows? But yeah, that is the basics of the second type select glitch in Pokemon Green. Next episode, if one exists, we'll be covering a completely different glitch. Possibly another select glitch, because there's a lot of them apparently. But yeah, I will see you guys later.